Hello everyone and welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. Just notice the dogs up there. Wandering around exploring the world. It's a dog's life. Hi Nini. Anyway, we finally uh it took a while. We had a hard time getting it for some reason, but we've got some azola started in the pond. Uh, we got a little over a kilo to put in there. We're going to be adding, we really need to to uh, net this off, put some kind of a little floating something in there to, to uh, corral this a bit. Uh, the research that I did on Azola is that uh, it'll double in size uh, in about 10 days, I think. That's what it said. I can't really remember. But it's a high protein, uh, it's just a floating, some kind of floating fern. It's a high protein feed. Uh, I'm hoping it'll shade the, uh, eventually I want it to cover the whole surface. And so it'll offer a bit of shade uh, for the water and keep it from getting quite so hot uh, along with the trees that we've planted along the bank there. We're going to put some uh, carabao manure in here and some pig manure. Uh, we really don't have a, a roost for the chickens so it's hard to get uh, a, a good pile of the concentrated chicken manure. Um, we could put a bit of that in there as well. See if we can get this stuff to take off. We need to, I'm just noticing here, we need to make some kind of a some kind of a step system here. Marcel had said she'd wanted to uh, make a little uh, stand down here, just a little shade enclosure. Uh, so that she could fish the old-fashioned way from the bank here. I don't know. Whatever she wants, I guess that's what we're going to do. But we do need to make some kind of a, a step arrangement here so that we can easily get in and out of the pond here. It's not so hard on that side, but this is a sheer bank on this side because the dozer just pretty much cut this straight out. Uh, that was that's pretty much the natural slope right there. It was just it just had a little bit of dirt pushed up on it. Uh, as you can see, it's slowly coming up. Next week, maybe even this week, I'm gonna I'm gonna go into town and get the pipe probably today. Uh, but we're gonna run the pipe uh, from one of those uh, overflows from the plateau there, and we're just gonna it's gonna be a, a long haul. Uh, but we're going to run a pipe all the way back up and we'll probably connect it right into that corner right there. Uh, that's the lowest part. So we'll put one in there and then we'll put two drain two drain pipes in that corner. So we'll have one in and two out. Because there is uh, quite a bit of inflow that comes in from this bank right here. Oh, my arm's killing me. I'm getting... Uh, vlogger's elbow, I guess. I'll coin a new term here. I usually hold the camera in my right hand and just having my, since I'm getting old and arthritic, I guess, just holding the camera and having my elbow cocked and up in the air, it just aches when I straighten my arm back out. That's why the camera was shaking a little bit. So, since my elbow's killing me, I'm going to wrap this video up. I just wanted to give a little uh, heads up here on the Azola. It doesn't look like much at the moment, but hopefully we'll get some manure in there, and at least we've got a start of it, and we'll see how it does. Keep you guys updated. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.